Keisha, we move on to college basketball now. And Billy Preston, who is this University of Kansas basketball team student, who decided to take a page out of the Big Baller brand playbook, where he is now signing with a professional team in Bosnia. And this is according to Rivals.com. The school looked into this car accident that happened on campus, and they later sent the findings to the NCAA. Well, 18 games now into the season, and with no decision, Preston said adios to the Jayhawks, and he is now signed on with this team in Bosnia. Now, Keisha, I'm going to ask you, could we see more players start to go overseas um, to get out of these NCAA rules? Mike, I don't really foresee a big wave of players, especially the top prospects, going overseas to play to avoid going to college for one year. Because, I, you know, the one thing that playing in the United States provides is exposure to these athletes. And exposure can translate to big dollars because when you are on TV, you get national television like a Duke, <laughs> you, you, you become a part of the fan psyche. They feel a connection towards you. And that fandom will follow you towards the NBA. And if you hearken back to the draft of Kristaps Przingis, when his name was announced as the pick for the New York Knicks, nobody really liked that. And I think part of it is because we did not know who he was. We didn't know what kind of player he was because he was in Latvia. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, whereas we know about Lonzo Ball because we know we've seen him, we know his story. And so, you know, people want to be a part of that. And not to mention, when you go overseas, there's no guarantee that you're gonna go to a really desirable location. Bosnia, I mean, there's no disrespect to any of these countries, but I, I don't know anybody who's like, I need to go to Bosnia, I need to go to Lithuania. So I just think that the, the top prospects probably will stay in the United States. Well, I think it's idiotic. I mean, look, I can see where this kid, he just got fed up, and he says, you know what, I'm going to go off to Europe, and I'm going to pay, I'm going to play over there because, you know, enough is enough. But in a situation where you get 18, 19-year-old kids who don't speak the foreign language of the country where they're going to, a lot of them have had either academic problems or their own conduct problems, which prevented them from playing to begin with. And a lot of them haven't necessarily had the proper direction that they've I guarantee, I don't know this kid, Billy Preston's high school background, but I guarantee that he probably bounced around from different high school to different high school. I could be wrong about that. Now, in this circumstance, though, I think that we will see, especially with the influence that the um, balls have had, I think that we will see some players starting to do this. But because college basketball is so powerful and the AAU programs throughout this country are so powerful, I think that for the most part, they're going to be able to keep these McDonald's All-Americans and these top 100 ESPN guys in-house and playing here in the States. Yeah, life overseas is really isolating for 18, 19 year old.